Nee. Yeah, what was a, it was a, a really good start for us. Uh, it was really important also to have this reaction after, uh, uh, yeah, we, we were after uh, 15, 20 minutes, one nil down. Despite, I think, we started well. We started well uh, with uh, with great personality, with a good possession to create uh, um, many situations to, to score. But then, uh, and uh, to stay one nil down was really important to to see the reaction of my team. The reaction was uh, was really good because uh, we kept calm. We continued to 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 play in the way that we know, uh, to believe in what we we tried before uh, um, in this week before to play against uh, Southampton, and then uh, yeah, we won. Uh, three points, three important points. But the most important thing, the way that we got three points, uh, with uh, I think uh, really good football, with uh, uh, with the ball, without the ball, uh, with uh, uh, an important pressure, and uh, also the way to try to they decide to to win the ball when uh, we lost the ball was another uh, important aspect. Uh, we are working uh, to to implement a uh, football knowledge of the last season. For sure, uh, today uh, we have seen that this team has uh, seven months of work in his back. And uh, I, always, I always say this: no, and this season we are starting with the seven months of work. And for me, it's very important because I can go in another step, in another situation to implement uh, football knowledge and to try to be to be stronger. Tony, let's talk about Ryan Sessegnon today. Was that exactly how you want to see him play as a wing-back? Yeah, and uh, I'm really pleased for uh, for Sesse because Sesse, first of all, uh, um, I think that uh, we are working very, very well with him, uh, especially under physical aspect, because in the past uh, this player uh, and uh, um, he had uh, many injuries, and uh, after one month, two months, and then again uh, injury, injury, especially muscular problem. Instead, I think that uh, working well, and uh, we are giving him stability under physical aspect. I think I, I, it's it's very important that uh, we sign a player like Iman Perisic because uh, <laughs> he can see he can see uh, um, the way to try to uh, to learn to learn no? something about Ivan. Uh, we are talking about a, a really important player, Ivan, uh, a top player. I think that uh, sometimes is good. To, to bring uh, into your team uh, players, uh, also if uh, they are a bit average, but at the same time, uh, if they are good players with experience, can bring this experience uh, to improve young players that are in uh, your squad. I think Sessegnon uh, is, uh, is doing this, uh, and uh, I'm really pleased because today he played a good game. Emerson played also a good game. Uh, now now um, we have to continue in, uh, in this way. <laughs> yeah, but if you remember, of maybe five minutes before or three, four minutes before, and then it was a cross that he was behind his opponent, you know. And then on the bench, uh, we were really upset with him, but really upset, and uh, because uh, he has to attack the the second post and to find the right position. After three minutes, then he scored, and we were pleased. We celebrated a lot this uh, this goal because I repeat. Five minutes before, uh, he wasn't uh, in uh, in the same place to score. But today he scored also another goal. I was always into um, the situation, our offensive situation uh, was was good, was good, and uh, I'm happy for him because uh, he has great potentiality, but he has to to show this potentiality. Did, did his performance and Dejan Kulusevski as well in particular sum up? How important it is to all those signings you made. You didn't actually start the game, but the pressure they can put on 
the players who are playing, the, the, com the competition for places just raises everyone's level. Uh, yeah, but uh, mm, yeah, I was I was really surprised uh, to to read you now that uh, someone uh, was uh, astonished that uh, for for the sign uh, six players uh, in uh, early early time now, and I think with the club uh, um, our first target was to to try to to, to improve the squad compare last season because last season I think uh, uh, the squad and uh, we finished the season uh, with uh, maybe 13 players we're lucky no to have no injury because we lost Skippy and uh, Tanganga in January and uh, our first target uh, was to, to improve to improve the squad uh, under numerical aspect under quality aspect because uh, to play for competition and if you want to try to be competitive or to go uh, to be stronger than last season, and then, uh, you you need you need of uh, of a squad. Uh, I think we uh, we worked with uh, with common sense and to sign player with specific characteristic for this type of uh, system uh, for uh, for our target. And uh, yeah, and um, I think that uh, the club worked uh, well, and uh, uh, yeah, we worked together. In uh, yeah, for, for for the best of the club, I always say it, uh, and uh, I'll do everything for the best of the club, not for myself. We've got time, time for time can for two more guys. Can you tell us what those characteristics were? You sign players for a specific characteristic. What, what are the characteristics? Yeah, the characteristic uh, to play a football, uh, an intense football, and uh, to play. I think in this type of football, in, in modern football. And the player has to be <laughs> the quality is normal that he has to have the quality, okay, but then at the same time you have to be strong physically, a good engine, stamina <laughs> because this league is very, very difficult, is totally different than other league, and uh, yeah, I think this player with uh, with this characteristic with the quality, but at the same time to be strong physically and uh, to run <laughs> and to to run a lot, to 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 bring uh, intensity during the game because uh, I like to press. But you need to have a player strong to to do high pressure. Uh, or, yeah, uh, yeah. This type of this type of football. Yeah. Last one, please, Tom. Some fans, Antonio, will be maybe a bit surprised that you didn't play any of the new signings from the start. Yeah. What, what was your thinking behind that? <laughs> but I, me not. I'm not surprised <laughs> because uh, and. Uh, uh, I think I think that uh, I use the com common sense because uh, in this moment, in this moment is uh, uh, we are starting the new season, okay? And uh, the whole players reached uh, a big achievement last season to uh, to to get a place in Champions League. In the last ten games, I think that uh, we played really well and we had a fantastic result. And my my message was very clear. I trust a lot in the old play on the old players, and uh, in this moment they are more reliable than uh, the new players because they need no to continue to work with us and to implement uh, football knowledges. With the old players, uh, um, I'm in a step forward with the, with the new player. For this reason, uh, I prefer to to count at the start with uh, the old players, but. Uh, um, I think that it was right after uh, this game, the, the final result. But at the same time, I repeat, I'm really enjoyed, I'm really happy because we have players, a new sign, that uh, they are going into our process. For sure, they, are, um, they, uh, they will help us to, to improve, but at the same time, uh, they have to know that uh, uh, you have to fight. And, uh, but they have to give me the possibility to to make rotations because when uh, you play now you, you are going to play one game in a week but in September uh, we start to play every three days and for sure uh, you have to make rotation uh, but it will be very important for a club like Tottenham don't drop the level don't drop the, the quality when uh, you make uh, rotation uh, and I think it was the the first target and I was very clear with the club and that the club uh, was totally agree with uh, 
with me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Nice. The last one. Last one. Day. It was uh, before. Last, last season, yeah. you said that uh, finishing in the top four would be like winning the Premier League for you. Um, this season, you want to push on and go further. What are the realistic expectations? How, how Honestly, I don't know. But my, my realistic expectation uh, uh, is to go game by game, game by game, and uh, to understand uh, which is in this moment our uh, our position in uh, in Premier League, because uh, yeah, I'm seeing that also the other teams and improved a lot, you know, signing a lot of of players, you know, and uh, the transfer market has not finished, and uh, all the teams try, try to to improve, and uh, you have to go step by step. I think that it will be very important to have seven months work in our back for me for the players the players uh, are with me it will be very important because uh, I'm not starting from zero and uh, mm, honestly and uh, in this moment uh, is uh, I have a, a big difficulty to to answer now which is our uh, realistic target and we have to try to to be stronger to be stronger than than the past and we are working for for this then we go game by game, and uh, next week we have uh, a game like Chelsea. And uh, with Chelsea last season, I think uh, I, I have seen a lot of difference, different level. We played three games in 12 days, and we lost three games. We didn't score, and uh, they showed in these three games that uh, at that moment they were much better than uh, than us. Um, I repeat, uh, realistic and. Uh, uh, we had to wait. We had to wait, and uh, before to to make a uh, judgment uh, for for this season. So would, would merely a top four finish be satisfactory? But to finish top four in England uh, is o is always a success. And uh, if you speak with me, honor and uh, he's right, <laughs> he's, uh, he's ready to sign yeah, every season to finish the top four, especially in England, because it it, it means that uh, uh, there are six top team. In England, if you finish the uh, top four last season and uh, United the Arsenal, they missed no and uh, to to finish in uh, in Champions League, and uh, you know City, Liverpool, Chelsea, maybe if uh, don't happen a, a disaster, a, a big disaster, they stay there and they get to fight. And then uh, you know also you know, the the strength of United, but uh, you have seen uh, Arsenal uh, what they are doing. Uh, with with Arteta in these uh, uh, many years to to improve the, the the team, it's not easy. But I repeat, and uh, uh, I'm a, a people that I have uh, ambition. I want to transfer the right ambition, eh? no presumption or arrogance to my players. I know only one way to work. We have to continue to work and to improve. I think that uh, if we we continue to do this, uh, we we are stronger than uh, than last season. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much.